have the latest Realme 9i 5G in the studio and we are going to check out the build quality in terms of drop impact resistance, structural strength of the body and scratch resistance quality of his tempered glass production. Again, we get the typical yellow themed unboxing experience, what decent. Also feels great to get all the basic and free stuff inside the box. The free soft case is as usual of good quality with plugs on every port and a very tight fit where you will struggle. The Realme 9i 5G itself is kind of unique, a very shiny, highly reflective plastic design. The Metallica Gold variant we have here shifts between silver to gold shades in different light angles and is a fingerprint magnet. No real design on the camera unit, the three black rings simply juts out the back which makes it unique in its own way. Not the strongest feel in my usual trial bend with a bit of crunch noise. We are quite unsure and nervous about the 9i 5G's actual build quality of its structure. So is the Realme 9i 5G also going to fail the scratch test and join the long line of budget Realme failures including BBK? On the display, a 7.99 megapixels f2.0 CMOS sensor with a 77 degree field of view. On the main camera unit is the primary 50.32 megapixels HI5021S CMOS sensor with a f1.8 aperture. The secondary rear camera is 2 megapixels f2.44 for macro shots and a third 2 megapixel camera for depth sensing with a 50 degree angle of view. As hinted earlier, budget Realme and BBK devices have a not so good consistent record of failing a scratch test with tempered glass production which is not scratch friendly and lacks oleophobic coating. The Realme 9i 5G also does not have the feel of oleophobic which can be proved in the liquid resistance tests and it's supposed to have panda glass production. Devices with corning glass production on the other hand has a perfect pass record on the channel. Will the Realme 9i 5G also get permanently scratched by steel? The Realme 9i 5G has suffered from permanent light marks, a scratch test fail as expected, adding to the unfortunate fail list. Let's show you the drop test next from different angles. A couple of low pocket drops and four high drops. First pocket drop on the back shiny side. No software issues or physical damages and shatter. The Realme 9i 5G easily passes both low drops in fail season. Next, first high drop on the bottom side edge. No dents or damages as yet from the bottom side drop as we usually see on plastic edges. Next, the drop on the top plastic edge. This time it lands with an angle towards the display side, showing the first signs of slight dent on the plastic. Next, the third drop on the back camera unit side. Are the black rings strong enough to prevent damage? Fortunately, no damages until now. The rings does a good job of lens production. Next, the last drop you've been waiting for on the display screen side. Will the 9i 5G survive fail season?
you may rest easy since the Realme 9i 5G does have a drop resistant design. The glass production is very scratch prone but is better for drops. Next, on to fun stuff with value, the pen test. Especially useful for rough handlers. We are not expecting the strongest design after the trial bend. Quite an uncomfortable high degree of bend from the display side and a snapping sound. It reminds us of the failed Realme 9 Pro which was Realme's first catastrophic failure. There is a visible angle of bend on the slim 8.1mm body. A dangerous degree of flex again from the backside pressure. The 9i 5G is just about managing to avoid catastrophic structural failure. Looking at the ridiculously high degree of bend near the volume rockers, we were simply waiting for the mid-frame to snap or for display failure. But the plastic structure somehow manages to lock out at the last moment, preventing permanent damages or disfiguration. The Realme 9i 5G just about passes the bend test, unlike the failed Realme 9 Pro.